Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So I have another 2 for Tuesday video for you today. And the 2 for Tuesday was an open tag started by Tom over on Knife Delights. If you're not subscribed to Knife Delights, get over there and subscribe. Great channel. Um, and this week I have two tiny bucks to show you. This is the 385 Toothpick. And this is the 375 Deuce. Now, both of these are imported by Buck, made in China. They both have nickel-silver bolsters, nickel-silver pins. They both have Buck on the, the shield right here, if I can get the focus. Both have stainless steel back springs with brass liners. And, yeah, they're both tiny little knives. So, let's um check out the toothpick. Now, uh, both of these have 420 J2 steel for the blades. You know, very budget steel. Soft steel is not going to stay sharp forever. Um, going to have to sharpen these after a few uses probably. But it is what it is. Very inexpensive knives. 15 to 20 ish dollars. And that's if you don't find these in a holiday pack. But yeah. The toothpick is pretty cool looking. It's only three inches when closed. Like I said, nickel silver bolsters, pins, no gaps in the back spring. The wood handle, the wood covers, they just list as wood grain handles. Both of these knives. They don't specify what kind of wood it is, but this one here, other than one flaw, the fit and finish is actually pretty excellent. You cannot feel the pins, the transitions between the wood and the bolsters, can't hardly, you don't even feel them. The handles are thicker in the middle here, kind of slope down to the bolsters on both ends. The wood actually looks pretty good. Um, it's kind of reddish in color. I like that. But yeah, three inch knife. Open up this blade. It is only 5.25 inches. You have this long clip, like a California or Turkish clip. Nice thin blade stock on this is like 0 0.07. And yeah, pretty nice blade. Nice little hollow grind to it. Nail nick. It's a three finger knife all day. That powder horn is like right in the middle of my pinky. Not, not bad at all. It's not uncomfortable for such a little thing. And the way this cuts down like this actually lends itself to pinch grip so you get cuts like this that's very comfortable um not bad walk and talk the poles maybe a three and a half to a four still kind of still pretty snappy there's no half stop and it clicks into place clicks open so not too bad tang stamp here i'm having a hard time Getting us to focus today. It says Buck 385 with date code. I haven't looked up the date code. And I guess you can see it. Then this side says China. Now the only the only real flaw to this is they got the the edge ground pretty good. A little wider at the tip. But this side, they really mucked it up. They got way up into the the plunge grind, up through the sharpening trail there. You can see right there. So that is like the biggest defect or flaw in this little knife. Otherwise, this thing's pretty nice. Um, like I said, fin finish is excellent. Very lightweight. This thing weighs less than an ounce. On my scale, it comes up at 0.9 of an ounce. 
no gapping back here at all. Overall, not not bad, not bad at all. Now let's check out the deuce, which is actually smaller, the 375 deuce. And again, nickel silver bolsters, pins, wood grain covers, um, and the back springs here. And a heck of a time getting these little guys to get in focus. And the back springs on both ends at this step. There's a little step between them. But not too bad. Otherwise, it's flush. There's no gaps. I opened the blades. Held this up to the window. I didn't see any light coming through. And again, the, the fit and finish on this one is not too bad. You can almost see the pins. Come on. You, I can see the pins. I don't know if it shows up on camera. You can almost see them. I have three out of the four bolsters. But the pins are nice and flush, nice and smooth. Transitions between the bolsters and the covers are nice. No gaps. There's a little stepping on either end. But overall, it's not too bad. This, the stamping, the lettering on this one is better than the lettering on the toothpick. This is a little messier looking. This is cleaner looking. Let's pull out the blade. Nice little clip point. You got hollow ground. You got buck 375 right there. The date code, nothing on this side. The... Blade edge grind is not bad at all on this one. This one is pretty snappy. I'd give that maybe a four. And it really does snap in the open. Not super strong back springs, but not too bad. Um, the clip point blade is only two inches overall length, about one and a one and three quarters of an inch cutting edge. Not too bad. Nice little nice little blade. I like that one. Now the second blade is a little coping blade. And check this guy out. And this one, tang stamp on this side, says China, nothing on that side. The edge grind is not too bad. Pretty even. Um nice little blade. And it's only like one and three eighths overall length from bolster to tip and like one and a quarter cutting edge. So this one's pretty snappy closing. Opening, not so much. It really doesn't snap. Have to push it all away. Now it's a little dirty inside. I haven't I haven't oiled or really cleaned these at all, so maybe a little oil and cleaning it out a little bit. That'll probably get a little bit better. But yeah, this one weighs 0.8 of an ounce. This one weighs 0.9 of an ounce. And it's kind of strange. This one, you know, this one weighs less. But it has two blades. Of course, the blade stocks are thinner on, on these. Um, I'm not sure what they are. Let's um, let's check it out. 0 0.05 and the coping blade. This one appears to be the same. Make sure it's zeroed. 0 0.05 and the toothpick appears to be thicker and yeah I mean how much is 0 0.02 this comes out 0 0.7 the deuce comes out 0 0.5 so yeah I guess that would do it for this video I picked these things up I was going to do a video on each, and I thought, no, I'll do I'll do just one video on these and do a two for Tuesday. So I guess that'll do it for this video. 
I think these are pretty cool knives. And do the usual like, comment, subscribe. And until next video, bye.